all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're gonna be talking about the new feature into the react flow that has been introduced recently and that is the soft flow like you can create a flow inside a flow and node inside the node like there is there will be a parent node and in inside of that parent node we can create some multiple child nodes and like just like that so that's kind of scenario you can create and it's very helpful in creating multiple type of automation flows some kind of flow chart you want to create if you want to create so that kind of thing you can create with that and it's very easy easy to understand there's no any code any kind of hard thing that uh, you need to do on the the object changes has been done so let me show you so into the docs uh, this is the new docs of uh, react flow and into the docs you will see this sub flow option over here inside the guide so you can go over here and there are a few examples that have been already given over here so that you can refer to and uh, read about this so also the code is written here you can just click on this icon and you can go to the code sandbox and you can see the code properly and also you can edit into that and you can make the changes and you can see that changes are coming or not so these kind of things you can do so we will do some changes let's go on the another example as well okay so you can see there's one more example over here so first let me tell you about this how this flow is getting created so you can see there's the app.js and inside the app it's normal like whatever we were doing earlier it's same as it is there's nothing changed into this only the change is happening it's inside the node.js like whatever the object you are passing inside the node types over here like nodes data whatever the data you are passing for rendering the node so that you have to change so into the object there is a change like one is that the type there's a type of group so they, in this node like this parent node won't be having any kind of uh, input output source kind of uh, connection so that you can't see like this kind of node otherwise if you make it output or input so it can be output or input type so we'll, we'll, we'll test it we'll do but for making this node as a parent node what you have to do you have to make the child nodes for this and those child nodes have to be defined like which which is the parent node, node gonna be for this child node so you can see the parent node key is defined over here with the a like a is the id of this node first node so you can just define it like a parent node and extend parent these two things you need to consider in each and every child node and automatically it will be submerged inside that your okay so that's the kind of thing you do and if i make it input i control s and let's see one connection point over here that you can connect the node from the so this kind of thing you can do let's take another example for this one so let's close this and take another example so we'll see some more and just click on it so it will open the code for you and so let's do some changes over there let's suppose i want to create a b node as a parent node over here so i have to create one more child node for this b node so what i have to do just copy this code from here so don't copy it just copy this one just from here control c and paste it just down below okay and just make it uh, v1 v1 and make the pairing also of this one v. okay let's save it okay so you can see one node is coming over here but we have to increase the height and width style of this b node then we will be able to see the proper proper behavior of the parent of child node okay so let's reload this okay so you can see the b node is over here this one is a b node and there's one more child node inside of that so you can see label is coming b and this child node so you cannot you cannot drag this child node outside of this b node okay it's gonna be inside of that so some kind of that like you have a one flow and you have some other nodes inside that flow so same kind of that this is another separate flow inside of that you are having some other node so you can get as many as nodes inside of that node so that you can do so it's very easy just you have to do some changes inside the object you are passing and and it's happening okay so there's no any kind of uh, new configuration that you have to add or something like that it's very easy that you have to just change it like this 
you have to define an input node, uh, a one node that's going to be parent for you, and you just need to define this parent node and extend it to the child node, and that's it. So thank you so much, guys. I hope you understand this video. And if you have some doubts or questions, such as comment down below. And I hope you understood something from this video. If you if you like this video, hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching.